show you how to make my classic white bread recipe. This one's for you, Jill. So, in the bowl here, we've got one pound 12 ounce of strong bread flour, or T55 bread flour, this one is unbleached, so it's a really good quality one. These little tubs down here, I've got 25 grams of salt, 25 grams of sugar, 15 grams of dried yeast, which most people have got knocking around or you can get from the uh, supermarket and stuff. Uh, 50 mils of veg oil, or you can use butter. I prefer to use veg oil because you can use it for vegetarians, uh, vegans and so on and so forth because this bread base is initially vegan. Um, and then we'll put a little bit of additions onto it later as well. And three quarters of a pint of warm water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure which is which. So the salt and the sugar. So the sugar is gonna go into the jug. The yeast is going to go into the jug and a spoonful or two of the flour is going to go into the jug also. What's going to start happening here, this is going to be our ferment. So what's going to happen is the warm water, the yeast, the sugar uh, and the flour are going to start fermenting. And we can't do anything else now until that started to ferment. So now, as you can see, our ferment's done. That was very quickly, wasn't it? This fast acting yeast is uh, very fast acting. So what I need to do now is the salt goes into the flour. The oil goes into the flour. So we have our oil in there now. Can't see it, the light's a bit bad, there you go. We've got our oil in there now, I'm just gonna mix that in. And now we're going to add our ferment into there. So I'll start mixing it by hand, clean myself up. So I'll start mixing it with the spoon, bringing all the flour into the liquid. And once I've got it most of the way there, I'm going to get my hands dirty and get my hands in there. All I'm looking to do here is just get all that liquid and all that flour soaked up together. It's got a little bit dry, I need a little bit more water in there. So once you've done a bit of kneading, you should get a nice ball of dough like that into your thing. So you can take it out of the bowl, pop it on the side, give it a good knead, push it away, roll it and pull it back, push it away, roll and pull it back. And you're rolling the bread back on itself and back on itself and back on itself. What that's doing there is stretching the gluten to give you a really nice strong, strong rise and nice bubbles in there. You'll feel it tense up as you actually do this as well, which is really good. What you're looking for is a nice ball of dough like that. This goes back in the bowl now. I'm gonna cover that with cling film. I'm gonna do the same as I did with the ferment to start with. I'm gonna let it prove, which is called its, um, its bulk proof or its initial proof, which should double in size. Then what we're gonna do is knock it back. So the bread's now expanded to double its size. I'm gonna knock it back and re-knead it now. Same again as we did before, push it away and roll it back. And you feel it tighten up on you. You should feel the dough's a lot smoother this time as well when you're doing this. And you get a really nice smooth textured dough. So the dough is ready to be portioned into whatever you want it to be now. So I'm going to make this into some bread rolls and into a small loaf. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to get my trays that I'm going to put it onto. 
So this is a muffin tin. I'm going to make some little bread rolls into here so they rise like little muffins. And it allows them to put some oil on the bread as well and for it to stay into it. And then just a lined tray which I'm going to put the loaf on. So I'm going to cut the bread in half. And we'll do our loaf first. So I'll give it another good knead. And we're going to roll it into a nice loaf shape onto the tray. So for the bread rolls, I'm just going to roll it out into a long sausage. Cut it into pieces. Then roll it on the bench into a nice bread roll shape and pop it into my tray. Rolling it on the bench like this also gives form to the bread and it gives it a little bit of a more rounded structure once you put it into the into the tin. There we go, so they're now ready for their second prove, which needs to happen before they go in the oven. Okay, now our bread's proved to almost double its size, let's take the cling film off. And then we can start to decorate these now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some flour on top of this one to like a, I make like a, a cottage cob type thing and then put a couple of lines across the top of it. So if we do that. Putting it through the sieve just makes it fall nice and evenly so they're getting big clumps of flour on it. With a nice sharp knife. A line across that way. And a line across that way. So what that's going to do is going to open up into a nice big loaf in there now. So these ones here, I've just got some vegetable oil. Just going to rub the bread with some vegetable oil. This is just going to make our little topping stick to it. I'm just going to put some um, dry thyme and good quality rock salt on top of these. Nice sea salt. I'm just going to put a nice little split in the top of these as well. If you haven't got a really sharp little knife like this, you can always use a Stanley knife blade. Okay, and they're ready for the oven. You can see this one starting to split and rise already. Um, oven set at 200 degrees. These will go in for about 15 minutes. These will go in for uh, probably about 20 to 25 minutes. So let's pop these in the oven now. And there you go, Craig's buns, just for you, Jill.